This is what pro commercial photographers charge, how they charge it, line items, real numbers, the whole shebang. Because I was doing some backing up of emails recently and I found this golden window where I didn't have an agent. I was between agents. Now, if you're ever wondering why I don't share what I charge and what I don't share certain things, we have contracts with agents. You cannot disclose what an agent charged for you, not even between agents. Can't do that. But I can tell you what I charged when I didn't have an agent. And I can tell you the usage of it, the whole shebang. Can't tell you the client, because again, that would be breaching client confidentiality. Can't show you the images, because again, breaching client confidentiality. But let me explain to you what the shoot was. Let me get my little iPad up and we're gonna run some numbers. Okay, so this here is for a shoot where we produce two final images. They were to be used on all social media in paid advertising and on websites. So two photographs, online usage. It was a one day shoot. I've got the number, I've got to refer to my iPad, I'm afraid because you know, memory's not all that good. And here's what we chose. So the first section, this is what I make. This is my, what I got. So, and this was a few years ago. So you need to add a bit on for inflation. I say a few years ago, it was many moons ago. Um, day rate, 2,500 pounds. That's my day rate. Now I didn't have an agent, so that was all mine. Usage was £10,000 on top of that, and that was for the usage of those images. And I believe it was for one year, but I can't find the details on that. Capture, digital capture, that is bringing the images from the camera onto a hard drive and me storing them for one year. And for that, we charged £450. Studio usage, use of a studio. It was this studio, actually. We did it here at the time. And that was £750 for the usage of the studio for the day. And then consumables, that's like paper, batteries, bits like that, £450. So that was my little bit at the top. That's what I charged. We then have the crew. Digi, that's the person who sits at the desk, which is just uh, there somewhere in, in the in the boca. Um, they fire the camera, they label the images, they get them ready for the retoucher. They get paid 700 a day for that job. Assistant number one, which was my lighting assistant, got 450. Assistant number two, which is the general assistant, got 350. We then had a stylist at 950. We had a styling assistant at 450 and we had a prop stylist at 700. There was no prep day for this. Often there's a prep day as well in a purchasing day. Um, and I believe the prop stylist wasn't on set and they selected the props in advance, what I remember. Um, I can't quite remember. I'm blowing them into different jobs, but off, I, it must have been. So there was no separate fee in there for finding the props. So they must have just sourced them and had them delivered. Uh, I retouched, I got 2,500 and I had a producer who got 900 and they were just organizing the whole thing. Uh, food, this is not food for the shoot. This is food for us was 600 pounds for the day. Travel was 2,500 for everyone who had to get here and get taxis, cars, trains, all that stuff. Phones and emails at 200 pounds. And that's pretty much what an invoice looks like. They're the billable items. Sometimes there's different ones. Sometimes they're different amounts. Like equipment can be all over the place, you know. It can be from next to nothing to huge amounts depending on the scope of the job. Um, day rates obviously changed over the years. Usage has also changed over the years. Um, you know, it's an ever evolving thing. This was quite old and quite out of date, but if you add a bit onto each of them, you'll sort of get an idea as to what it might be today. It's not gone up as much as inflation has, that's for damn sure, but it has gone up over the time. It also, things like stylists. You can get stylists for very little, you can get stylists who are worth a huge amount. And depending on the complexity of the job and the importance of the job, it depends on what sort of stylist you go for. Same with assistants. Some jobs I have one assistant who's like a budget assistant. Some jobs I have five assistants and some of them are extremely senior and some of them are very junior, depending on what they're doing. Some will just be moving light stands in and out of like studios and locations. Some will be dialing in lighting for me and metering sets. Yeah, you know, it's a real mixed bag. But I thought it'd be useful for you to see what goes into an invoice, what goes into the billing of a client for a commercial shoot, because there's very little information out there on it. And it's just a social media shoot. Obviously, if it's a worldwide print campaign, the numbers are hugely different. But also at the same time, it's the local cafe down the road looking for something from the gram. They're not going to pay 10 grand usage on it. So it's relative to the client, to the quality of work, to the deliverable. There's so many variables in there, which is why it's hard to give real numbers. But this is what I was charging many years ago when I didn't have an agent. Um, can't share with you what I charge now because it'd be against contract. But that's why I used to charge. See you soon. Bye-bye.